Hello and welcome to another GCSE revision video. Uh, in this video, it's a special video, we're going to be looking at another BBC Breakfast Maths Challenge. I would like to thank the BBC for their excellent question. So we're told Little Red Riding Hood is saving up for a red cloak in her piggy bank jar. She saves 1p, 2p and 5p coins. The ratio of 1p to 2p to 5p coins is currently 10 to 5 to 3, with 180 coins in her piggy bank. Her grandmother adds the following coins, £1 in 1p coins, £1 in 2p coins and £1 in 5p coins. What is the simplest form of the new ratio of 1p to 2p to 5p coins for Little Red Riding Hood? And as a bonus question we've got, what is the total value she now has to buy a red cloak? Okay, so her ratio of coins is 10 to 5 to 3. And there are 180 coins. Now, this ratio, what, what does it mean? It, it means that there are 10 out of every 10 plus 5 plus 3. Well, 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. So there's 10 out of 18 coins are 1p. And there are 5 out of 18 coins that are 2p and there are 3 out of 18 coins that are 5p now she has a total of 180 coins so we have to look at these fractions here and think what do we have to do to the denominator of these fractions to turn 18 into 180 well, the answer just presents itself straight away. We just multiply by 10. Now, if we multiply the denominator by 10, we must multiply the numerator by 10. So I'm just going to stick a naught on everything. So Little Red Riding Hood currently has 100 1p coins, 50 2p coins and 30 5p coins try and make that look like a plus okay now her grandmother gives her one pound in 1p 2p and 5p coins so she's got one pound in 1p coins, so that's 100 one pennies makes one pound. 50 two p's make a pound. And 5 times 2 is 10, so that's 20 5p coins make a pound. I know that doesn't look like a 2, but it is a 2, I assure you. So there's 25p coins. So the total number of coins she has now, if we add these up, 100 plus 100 is 200. Fifty plus 50 is 100. And 30 plus 20 is... 50. And while we're here, before we start simplifying, let's just add these up and find out how much money she's had for this extra question bit. Uh, so that's £2 plus £2 plus £2.50. That's a total of £6.50. And my pound does not look nice at all, but anyway, okay. That's pretending to be a pound. Okay, so now all we want to do is take her coins, which are now in the ratio of 200 to 100 to 50. And all we want to do now is simplify this and put this in its simplest form. Well, 
I think everything here is a multiple of 50, so I'm just going to cancel everything down by 50. So this is this 50 divided by 50 is 1. 100 divided by 50 is 2. And 200 divided by 50 is 4. So the ratio is 4 to 2 to 1. Okay, I hope you found that video helpful. If you are taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you all the best with your revision and all the best with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.